Hello. <laughs> Okay, not gonna use that. Hi, I'm Emily. I am an American living in the Netherlands and I just finished my first year of Dutch medical school. How I got here is a very long story. I made another video about that here if you wanna check that out. In today's video, I'm just gonna be talking about a recap of this past year studying medicine here in Amsterdam. Let's get started. Starting with perhaps the most European part of my first year of medical school, that was the Hamleke Onderzoek, or in English, the physical examination training. I remember so clearly finding out about our first planned training. That was during lunch one day, during the first two weeks of school, and I was sitting there eating with a bunch of my new friends, and one of them mentioned that next week we would be having our first uh, physical examination training. When they said that, I was like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Like, so are we gonna be using models or are they hiring actors? Like, how do they do this to make it feasible for all of us to study this? And they were like, oh no, we're just gonna be practicing on each other. When I heard that, <laughs> I kind of freaked out on the inside. The only information I had ever heard about the Dutch Lichamelijke Onderzoek training for medical students was through the grapevine, like from a friend who had a friend who had a friend who had been through medical school here. And what I had heard is that Dutch medical students were practicing, uh, you know, rather invasive physical exams on each other that you sometimes had to strip down completely nude. There would be rectal exams, vaginal exams, all the personal bit exams. When I heard that, I was like, practice, what? No way, that's crazy. Of course we're not gonna do that. That's so weird. Like you can't be doing that with classmates. That's a completely different, you know, relationship than a doctor-patient relationship where there's a sort of distance and, you know, you don't know each other. That's not awkward at all because that's a normal situation to be encountering that. But to be doing this with your friends and the people you're going to be studying with for the next three to six years, that just seems awkward. So when my friend said we would be practicing on each other, I immediately thought, oh my god, everything I heard was true. Holy shit, I felt like that thing in Malcolm in the Middle or something where like the camera like zooms out from above you and then you're sort of like yeah. Everyone was completely blasé like, oh yeah, apparently we have to take our shirts off and maybe we have to strip down to our underwear Maybe we have to take our underwear off. I don't know like whatevs. We're so European and I was like, okay I'm just gonna freaking suck it up and I guess we're gonna be going in there like diving in week three just Dutch style, the human body, we're chill about it. So when I go in the morning of the first training, I see to my relief that I am not the only one who has been nervous about this. I see, you know, some of my classmates are talking and like a bit, yeah, just a bit nervous body language. Some people are pacing a bit in the halls. It's not that I want my classmates to suffer and be nervous like I was, but it just made me feel like, okay, I'm not a total weirdo for finding this a bit uncomfortable. That made me feel less nervous already, just knowing we were all sort of in the same boat. And when we went in, the professor actually immediately put us at ease. Like she just told us how it's very common for medical students doing this for their first time to be nervous and to feel a bit uncomfortable with it, but that it was totally normal. So once we got started, it was indeed Totally fine, like not a problem at all. First of all, we were not stripped down completely nude. Ultimately, we only had to do, if I remember correctly, uh, examinations involving the limbs, like the arms and the legs. Honestly, I sort of felt like, why do we need to take off our shirt and pants? But maybe it was more for us to just sort of get used to that and not be so awkward and make it such a big deal. So yeah, it was totally fine. I had built it up to be this big thing in my head and my classmates are all really good people. So I don't know what I was freaking out about. Um, okay. By far the most difficult thing for me during the first year was Snizol or anatomy lab. I'm a very queasy person. I'm not one of those medical students who's super excited when you see some horribly infected wound or like open abdomen or just like really gruesome surgical images. I do not have an intention of doing surgery in the future or doing a kind of medicine that involves invasive procedures. I have more of an interest in chronic diseases and preventative medicine and, you know, public health, things that all involve non-invasive methods of helping your patients. So for weeks leading up to the first Nizol, I was dreading it. At the time I got there for the first lesson, I had, again, <laughs> noticing a theme here, I had built it up a lot in my head and there was so much dread and so much negative anticipation. And when I walk into the anatomy lab for the first time, it is indeed a very grim sight, you know, very dreary fluorescent lighting and these tables with 
human bodies on them that are covered with sheets of plastic. There was this moment in the beginning of class where all the students were gathered around the teacher who was about to demonstrate something for us on one of the cadavers and she lifted up the plastic sheet and I just got hit with this oh boy. I remember I was standing at the back of the crowd of students so I kind of slowly took a very quiet step back from everyone else to try and make sure like I was not in anyone's peripheral vision and you know I was just sort of sitting there like you're not going to faint in Snizel, you're not going to cry in Snizel, you got this Snizel. In that moment of potentially embarrassing myself in front of my classmates, I just realized this is just part of the medical training. I have to do this. I'm probably gonna have to do it every year. I gotta get over it and try to find something I can get out of it that will help me in my future career as a doctor. The highlight of my first year was definitely the mini stage or the mini internship. I had the good fortune of being placed in the Verloskammers, which is the maternity wards where babies are born. Initially, I did not think that this was good fortune because, you know, as I mentioned before, I was a pretty queasy person and I just thought, oh no, like this is too soon. I'm not ready for this. Like I'm already terrified of having kids. This is only gonna make it worse. That turned out to not bother me at all. On the contrary, I found it, this is so cheesy, but so amazing and so beautiful and so profound and so exciting. Let me tell you, it's not a walk in the park, but it was also nothing like what I've seen in the movies. Honestly, so much happened during that week that I could say a lot more about the experience, but I should probably save that for another video. So if I ever make that one, I'll link that here. But for now, let's move on to something else. Probably my most embarrassing moment of my first year is related to my Dutch speaking skills, which are not perfect. We were having our first lesson with a simulated patient, which is an actor who is trained to act like a patient in order to help medical students train various skills. When it was my turn to do an interview with this patient, you know, we're talking and we're about like five minutes in the conversation and it seems to be going okay. And at some point he reveals that he's actually afraid that he has cancer, which is a very serious moment. You want to acknowledge that fear and not, you know, just dismiss it or blow right over it. Basically I panicked and instead of taking a moment to pause and sort of collect my thoughts and just figure out what the best language would be to use since this was really challenging my Dutch language skills. Basically, if you translate it into English, what I said was, that sucks, which is obviously not the right thing to say. The thing is, I used a word I had never spoken before. I had read it, I had heard other people say it, but the reason I had never used it before is because I knew that I didn't fully understand the connotation or what it meant. I immediately realized that word did not mean what I thought it meant because everyone to the side of me, I like felt this like quiet little ruffle of like people sort of like, oh, looking around like, oh, haha, -ha, that was not the right word. In the end, the actor said that it was fine because he could tell from the way that I said it that my intentions were good and that I didn't actually mean it as callously and flippantly as it sounded. It was still really embarrassing to me and I'm sure I will have a few more of those in the years to come because that just happens when you're not totally fluent in a language. Some takeaways from the first year that I can use going forward. Basically, everything I was afraid of turned out to be totally fine. I know, I'm really looking forward to the next years of school. I feel like I learned so much this year. I crammed so much into my head. I had so many positive experiences this year and I really like all the people I met. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the next couple years will bring. And um, yeah. Maybe I'll keep you posted about that. Bye.